You are being too heavy on me. For God's sake, will you be stop being so stupid? Tom. Tom. Yes. Who had the brass to tell me that you were loved and couldn't resist being loved? Even though you know that it could cost you your home, your happiness. Why should it cost me that much? Why should it? Has it ever occurred to you? Have you ever thought for one minute about my security? What's she talking about now? What, what, what security? Good God, my God. Look, what, what, what relevance is security? I mean, the, the point to mention is, have I ever failed? Have I ever denied you? I, in any way? Uh, that does not mean you will never or will not start now. Oh, come on, are you such a block? I should address that question to you. Tell me, that you're, are you a block, a stone? Do you have any feelings? Did you marry a man with no feelings? A woman in love is easily deceived by the man she loves. I see. One of your kindergarten ideologies. Don't give me that. I don't want it. You are a big fool for saying that. Do you think you are the better risk eating my food? Why not? I want to eat. I have poisoned it. I want to poison you. Do you? Yes. Oh, well, I'm good then. What did you say? I am hungry. Poison. Drink it. Don't. Don't. 
You know what? I've discussed your case with a psychiatrist at Abeokuta. And uh, what were his words of consolation? Well, he said, um, at this point, I mean at the stage you are now in, mm -hmm. uh, he should bring you down. It is you who needs being taken to our Licensed son. I am grateful to God that today is our 75th birthday. We're all joyous. I'm very happy uh, to be here celebrating this occasion with her. She's a wonderful mother. She's an indefatigable person, uh, irrepressible, never say never person, uh, very patient, very giving. A woman of very high standards. Mama T, Auntie Taiwa Ajayi Lessa, she's a beautiful person. A beautiful person to know. A beautiful person to be around. She's a mother, she's a friend, a teacher, a mentor, confidant. I love you, Mom. Happy birthday. My name is Taiwa Unafusha. This is Kendi Unafusha. My true mother. Yeah. My sister Ajayi Lessa has been a very wonderful man. She's a great black man. She's an epitome of beauty, strength, she's strong bone. She's tolerant, she's friendly. Think of anything good. That's my sister who realized it. She's an accomplished actor. She's a great achiever. And she has traveled wide. I think uh, this book will go far to inform, educate, transform and encourage Nigerian breeding culture. Yeah, um, she's a fantastic performer, a great patriot, a committed citizen who will try to use her art to affect both the human community around her and to see social progress take place. Um, I, I'd like to make the point that in the very early days, so to speak, early days being early 90s, 1991, the early days after she returned to Nigeria, uh, there was a movement, uh, an effort to revive the culture community in Lagos. It was a very active American uh, culture mind. They had this performance studio workshop. Uh, I was at their board. And uh, she and all of us were involved in many meetings at that time. People like the Arts and Peace Fellows and all of that. And, uh, you know, she's just a terrific human being in and out. So uh, I have had the good fortune of knowing this through these years. I haven't read the book, but uh, biographies provide opportunity, or autobiographies, opportunity to share experience. And I I'm hopeful that we'll see uh, the experience that has brought her this far in the book, and we'll see tributes that people have paid to her in it. And hopefully it will refresh us and help us learn what more we can do to raise the, um, the, the, the value of the arts. We're going to start with the grand entrance of the celebrant, Mrs. Taiwo Ajay Lyset, and she deserves a hearty ovation. I think she deserves too that we stand to receive her. Mrs. Ajay Lyset enters the house. <laughs> Officer, 
writer, icon, mentor, motivator. She's exceptional. Please be seated. Reverend Father Uguani to say a short opening prayer. May we rise as we greet our God. We pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, we thank you for your faithfulness and love because all the good things around us are sent from heaven above. We thank you for the life of our dear mother, a friend, a mentor. As we gather to honor her and share her experiences, Lord, we ask you to be with us, to take charge of this occasion. Bless all those on the way to join us and bless us as we sit and enjoy this fellowship in your name. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The National Anthem, please. Celebrant of today, respected, be beautiful, ever elegant, and um, my wife admires her because my wife says she's one lady who is always natural. She's one lady who is the most beautiful, and she's be most beautiful to my wife. Because uh, she is one lady who is giving a good example that black is beautiful. <laughs> and, um, you will all recall that um, I think it was James Brown who says, "Say it loud." I'm black. I'm proud. We are very proud of. I'm his uh, senior brother because I will be serving this year. Wow. <laughs> so I, I welcome her to the club of 75. Uh, I must apologize. Uh, we were hosting the president, and I'm leaving by 2 o'clock Emirates today. But I say it would be unforgivable. And unpardonable, and my wife in particular would be very upset if I didn't show up at this uh, ceremony. I am not the issue. The issue is uh, Taiwa Jai Lassa. Let us talk about her. We belong to a church group, and um, all the men there are struggling to be the boyfriend <laughs> of uh, Taiwa. 75, and you are still being chased. <laughs> you are still being adored. People are still falling over each other. We have what we call different kind of, we, have, we give ourselves different kind of nickname. Uh, Agrippa 1, Agrippa 2, uh, and Agrippa. <laughs> and today they met the China, they could do Agrippa or Agrippa. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm here today. I want to thank all of you who have showed up to give respect to a lady who has contributed so much to art, music, 
and development of theatre, not only in Nigeria, in Africa, and in the world. Uh, <laughs> at 75, she's still looking so radiant, so young, and my wife is always saying, ah, and the time will, ah, I don't know. I said, well, we produce them in good number in, in Oku State. She, she's Oku uh, State and uh, Lagos. She's a worry. You see, and the worries are uh, along the borderline between Lagos and uh, Oku State. So I will greet her warmly, thank God for her life, and um, I will pray for longer life for her in good health. And she's still been, I mean, we missed her at the chat about three or four weeks ago, and she was involved in the brilliant, beautiful show here. I couldn't come, but uh, next time I'll try and make it. So, uh, they call you Auntie Tal. You are too young to me to call you Auntie. Sisi. I'll call you Sisi Tal. <laughs> Kitty Beo. <laughs> Kitty Beo. <laughs> I'm a beautiful lover alone. Thank you very much. celebrate our dear T-A-L O-O-N Your Excellency Chief of Shabba Are you more? Yes sir <laughs> uh, Permit me to observe all protocols I really don't know a lot of people here so uh, permit me to observe protocols as it is. So I'm going to try to make the best of this speech. Uh, that I just to welcome you, to thank you for being here, in spite of your busy schedules. <laughs> a book launched at 75. People don't write books at 75, but you did. Congratulations. That tells us that in you, God has implanted something very, very unique. And we pray that 10 years, 15 years, 20 years from now, you'll be writing books and you remain beautiful. Thank you very much. So I welcome you. I end this speech now because uh, you would have you had I work for mobile. I was a salesman. If I start today, not to go home. So <laughs> permit me to end this speech now. Thank you very much. The chairman. Or should I say the chairpersons? We now have a lot of them. <laughs> Mama Taiwo Ajayi Lysert. If you have met, seen, listened to, or heard about her, then I need not tell you about her. Mrs. Taiwo Ajayi Lysert is beyond description, so much so that her son referred to her as deity. The Tao vision is not about rebranding her. When Mama Tao clocked 70, she approved me as a biographer. To raise funds for this great task, we came up with the idea of putting our writings together, the compilation of our thoughts. That is part of the idea, or that idea is what has become the Tal vision. The Tal vision is not about rebranding her. She stands tall as a brand, a worthy household name, as we very well know. In deciding that we are yet to tap into the fullness of this bundle of blessing, we have positioned ourselves to turn more clear lights on her as a way of ensuring that more people glean from a wealth of experience, exposure, excellence, and exuberance. The Taiwo Ajayi, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. The Taiwo Ajayi Life Set Vision has been initiated to celebrate this icon of its inestimable value. This we intend to do via seven mediums to commemorate our journey in the septu septuagenarian sphere. Publishing of a writings and book form is the first. This project title just sharing by Taiwo Ajayi Lysert is a compendium of thoughts from the very heart of Nigeria's work class icon. If you've never met her or heard, heard her, this will blow your mind. This will definitely blow your mind. Launching of the work and exhibition of photos and stories about her at an artist lounge in Lagos. As I'm reading these things, start thinking of how you can plug in because we are all going to celebrate this icon. Touched, this will be planned as a cruise where many who have been touched by Tal will have an opportunity to step on stage with her. Save for an inspiring talk to be delivered by an icon of equal pedigree, this will be a fresh, a refreshing night of entertainment. Publishing of a biography, 
this as we all know is in the works and you should come on board if our history cannot be told without you launching of town's biography with a week-long celebration that would end with a who is good dinner store or theater arts department locally and globally and let me whisper this to you harvard has already requested for presentation of Harewood. harvard So, with an invitation from there, we better get on board sooner. A, a befitting office that would house a museum, a library where our works, our writings, our photos and plays will be archived. This is planned to be a tourist center for lovers of art, especially those seeking to draw inspiration from her. At the helm of the Tao vision is my humble self, Omolola Omotesho, ni Iwa. Mama Tao came into my life here in mentorship matching. I've come to call that divine connection. And the, at the end of the aspiring entrepreneurship program, she threw a party to celebrate the completion of that uh, program for me. This was the genesis of the marriage of minds and a lifelong friendship. I've been touched and greatly inspired by the, this icon who I fondly refer to as elegant Mama Tao. Indeed, this is a tall, thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. Indeed, this is a tall vision, especially if you throw in a middle name, Laide. So you have Taiwa Jai Laise, formerly called Laide. Share some paragraphs from this written book. This excerpt is about controlling your body. I told you she has her views on just about anything. Now she wants to tell you how to control your body. And I read. I come to you today with a heavy heart. I am aging, as if you didn't already know it. <laughs> and with age, my girth is getting perceptibly broader. Need I tell you? With the never-ending array of diets and exercise plans that are introduced to the public annually, it's possible you are a fellow dieter, and like me, you may have found yourself in much the same position year after year, overweight and perhaps confused about why nothing has worked. And it frustrates me to no end, because I know firsthand that the inability to make progress in this area can be very frustrating. Especially as I know, you very likely have been successful in many other areas of your life, including your career, family, and relationships. And chances are, you've achieved a great deal of progress in those areas. But when it comes to mastering your own body weight, you're much more likely to find yourself in a constant state of flux. Something that you think should be easy to master continually defies your best efforts to get on top of it, doesn't it? So please spare a few moments of your precious time and hear me out. I know that this very day will mark the turning point you've been yearning for. Yes, I am that confident. You see, we're not going to talk about yet another diet or exercise plan. There are plenty of those available to read. The truth is, practically any of the good ones will help you lose weight under the right circumstances. But my friend, right circumstances is the operative phrase here. The critical problem with most weight loss programs is that they don't dig deep enough to determine our personal circumstances. Instead, they address the masses. If you want a lot more, you have to buy the book. A special guest, an Abade girl, Sister Tao, chairman of this occasion, eminent MMIs, Members of Music Icon, 
distinguished ladies and gentlemen, please permit me to stand on existing protocol already laid by my Egbo, Mr. Adeli Adetiba. Again, excerpts from her book titled, Will You Play Your Music? I read. Play. Have fun. Laugh. Enjoy. Find the playful inner child and allow it to come out to the surface. If, like me, you've been taking yourself and your life too seriously. Now is the time to introduce some measure of playfulness back into your life. Play can come in all sorts of different forms. The key to playfulness is fun and laughter. Be creative. Laugh and let your spirit flow free. If you have children or grandchildren in your life, this can be a good time to play with them or help them to create something. Perhaps. Get out the snakes, ladders, the ayo, crayons, or the paints, and allow creativity to flow. As time went by, I found ways to introduce playfulness into all areas of my life. Have you? How could you make your work more fun, enjoyable, and add the elements of playfulness into it? Maybe that child in you needs some attention. Playfulness and fun could be just what you need. You, you will find out why you lie on your deathbed. The things you will regret are, I didn't love mom. I didn't pay attention. I let months go by. I was selfish. I played safe. I was too cautious, too busy thinking about the future. I didn't let down my hair quite enough. Have fun also paradoxically reminds me of taking calculated risks, living fearlessly. So I usually remind myself not to die with my music still in me. I read a recruiter from a jump school, a military parachute training, who explained the training this way. Jump school is three weeks long. The first week, they separate the men from the boys. Presumably, they also separate the women from the girls. He goes on to say, week two, they separate the men from the fools. And with three, the fools jump. <laughs> um, like my brother Deli Aditipa said, if you want more of this, you got to get the book. I got to jump in. Thank you. And we'll ask Mrs. Iretiola Doyle, please, to come and share some paragraphs from this gripping book. Acclaim, applaud her, please. Thank you. Good morning, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Your Excellency is here present. Mama, happy birthday. Olori, her karma. Sir, good morning. I stand on all existing protocols before I get into trouble. Okay, I'm reading an excerpt from one of Mama's pieces titled uh, Becoming His Son. And it's rather appropriate because if you spend time with her, you will know that gratitude 
is at the very core of her daily mantra. So I read. I love this time of year. It signifies fresh beginnings and hope for the future. And part of the process is to be grateful for all the awesome things you already have in your life. A fresh mindset, if you will. That's why my story this week, We Become His Son, an Easter classic, reminds us especially to refresh our attitude of gratitude. This is a story that comes out of the Bedouin culture. Bedouin is the Aramaic name for desert dwellers. These people live much as the characters of the Old Testament did. During a heated argument, according to this story, a young Bedouin struck and killed a friend of his. Knowing the ancient and inflexible customs of his people, the young man fled, running across the desert under the cover of darkness, seeking safety. He went to the black tent of the tribal chief in order to seek his protection. The old chief took the young Arab in. The chief assured him that he would be safe until the matter could be settled legally. The next day, the young man's pursuers arrived, demanding the murderer be turned over to them. They would see that justice would be prevail their own way. But I have given my word, protested the chief. But you don't know whom he killed, they countered. I have given my word, the chief repeated. He killed your son, one of them blurted out. The chief was deeply and visibly shaken with this news. He stood, speechless, with his head bowed for a long time. The accused and the accusers, as well as the curious onlookers, waited breathlessly. What would happen to the young man? Finally, the old man raised his head then he shall become my son. And everything I have will one day be his. The young man certainly didn't deserve such generosity. And that, of course, is the point. Love in its purest form is beyond comprehension. No one can merit it. It is freely given. It is agape, the love of God. Look to the cross. At the cross, we encounter love in its purest form. Permit me to share with you a, new, a few more quotes on the topic to inspire your weekend. Mr. Eckhart said, if the only prayer you said in your entire life was, thank you, that would suffice. Frank A. Clark said, if a fellow isn't thankful for what he's got, he isn't likely to be thankful for what he's going to get. And Horace said, only a stomach that rarely feels hungry scorns common things. Gratitude is the best attitude. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is TK. Listen and enjoy this. Thank you. Storms I may have 
Second part of this presentation comes up on Wednesday, 6th of July.